All right, so let's start the, um, the last part of chapter 19. Okay, so here you are basically going to learn about capacitor in series and capacitor in parallel and RC circuit. Okay, so similar to the uh, resistances, uh, I mean, resistors uh, connected in series, you can uh, connect several capacitor connected in series, something like this. So here you see C1, capacitor C1, I mean, capacitor with capacitance C1, capacitor with capacitance C2, and capacitor with capacitance C3 are connected, very similar to the resistances um, are in series. Okay, so similar to the R equivalent, I want to know what is the C equivalent. Okay, very similar to the series resistances, the potential drop here, here, and here will be different. I1, I2, and I3, let me call them. Okay, now similar to the current, when the capacitors are connected in series, they will be charged with equal amount of charges. So you see that the charge for C1, C2, and C3 are the same. Okay, and that's because of the same current flows through, um, through all the capacitors. Okay, so what we can write, similar to, um, to the resistance circuit is this. Okay, so we can write V, equal to V1, V2, V3, okay? And you remember that in uh, earlier chapter, we learned about the connection between Q, charge, capacitance, and V, okay? So the equation was Q equal to CV, okay? So I can write, if I solve it for V, I can write Q, over C, right? So the equivalent uh, capacitance then will be Q, C, E, Q, okay? And then here it will be Q, C, one, here it will be Q, C, two, and here it will be Q, C, three, okay? So if you cancel Q from both side, your equation is something like this, one over C, E, Q, equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3. So you see that um, the series capacitance follow the very similar rule for the parallel resistance, okay? So one over R EQ was something like this for parallel circuit. Here it is for series circuit. So remember that for capacitance, when they're connected in series, it is something like this. Okay, and do not confuse series and parallel uh, for um, resistance and capacitance. Okay, and how about the capacitors in parallel? So capacitors are parallel are something like this. Okay, so again, the V here, V here, and V here will be the same because they are connected in parallel. I mean, basically we are talking about that potential difference between A and B, okay? And here the charges will be different, okay? Similar to the current. So I can write the total charge is divided now into Q1, Q2, and Q3. And because Q equal to CV for equivalent circuit, I can write this, okay? So by equivalent circuit, I mean this. So let's say this is the equivalent capacitor with capacitance, okay, and this is battery V, okay? So C, E, Q, V, and then C1, V, C2, V, C3, V. So V is same, so I wrote same V, and if you cancel V from both sides, the equation is very simple. So you see that it is very similar to the, when the resistances are connected in series, okay? so. Uh, capacitors and re resistors follows opposite rule, okay? Remember that and do not confuse resistance with capacitance, okay? Now, um, uh, you are going to learn about a circuit where you have both resistance and um, capacitance, okay? 
So a simple uh, circuit is this. So here you see that we have a battery or EMF, we have resistance or resistor with resistance R and capacitor of uh, capacitance C and the switch. Okay, so this is a simple RC circuit where R and C are connected in series. Okay, so normally this kind of um, circuit is used for charging or discharging the capacitor. Okay. All right, so now uh, before I going, before I go to uh, uh, talk about this mathematics, okay, let me show you this simulation, okay. So here um, we have, so you see a, we have a resistor. So this is a resistor. This is a capacitor. This is a battery. Okay. And the medial connection. So this connection actually um, used for um, uh, something else. So uh, it is for discharging, which I'm going to talk let, later, but the, this connection, okay. Is, uh, is used for uh, charging, okay? So when you want to charge, okay, you need a battery. When you discharge, you have to remove the battery. So that's why here uh, I have two circuit with two switches. If I uh, close the uh, this switch, you see that the capacitor is discharged, okay? So all the charges are now going away, okay? Um, so still uh, we have one charge, so all the charge now gone. And this is to charging, okay? So you see that there are a lot of charges in the capacitors, okay? And this one um, on the right-hand side, you see that uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called voltage. So it is a, volt, a voltage probe or the voltmeter. And on the left-hand side, I have something. You see this probe, this probe is the current probe. Okay, it basically shows you the current and this one is basically shows you the voltage. So it is a, you can call it a voltmeter or emitter or voltage probe or current probe. Okay, all right. Uh, at the end, I'm going to talk how to connect a, a voltmeter and emitter in a circuit. But for the time being, let's just focus on the uh, charging, okay? Now, if I close this circuit, okay, the bottom circuit okay, and bo bottom switch, you will see that um, the capacitor is charging, okay? You will see a lot of charge here, okay? And you have to also have a look on this voltage probe and current probe, okay? So you will see that the voltage curve is uh, going up and the current probe is going down. Okay, so let's see. So you see that uh, voltage, this one, um, it's going up, okay? And here you see that this is going down, okay? Now, to mathematically determine uh, this relation, you need, um, you need a calculus, but I'm not going to, talk about the calculus here. I'm just going to give you the equation, the final equation, okay? And this is the, uh, the potential difference. I mean, during charges, during charging, the potential difference between the two plate of the capacitor is this, okay? And if you draw this graph, it, it will be something like this, okay? It will be something like this. Okay, and we already see in the simulation, the voltage graph is this, okay? Increasing, okay? So you see that, okay? Now from this, we can determine the charge, the relationship for the charge in the capacitor, okay? How? You know already that Q equal to CV, Okay, or CVC. So VC means the the potential difference between the two plate of a uh, of a capacitor. Now, if you substitute this value, this expression here, you get this. Okay. 
and we call this the maximum charge Q0. Okay, so maximum charge Q0 equal to C times uh, the the EMF of the battery. Okay. All right. So here in these two equations, so this is one equation, this is equation. In these two equation, the, the exponent E, e you see that we have an expression and that is e to the power minus t over rc. So this rc has a special name, okay? We call it time constant, okay? Time constant t equal to rc. We, it is called time constant because the unit of this combination is second, okay? All right, now what is the physical meaning of the time constant? The physical meaning of the time constant is when the time t is equal to tau or is equal to rc, the capacity or voltage or charge reaches 63% of its maximum value, okay? So the, the capacitor voltage maximum value is this. So the capacitor can have maximum this voltage and which is equal to the battery EMF and capacitor charge, maximum charge could be this one, which is equal to C times this, right? And this time constant tells us that when time is equal to the time constant, then the, the capacitor charge reaches to 63% of its maximum or the voltage reaches to 63% of the maximum voltage. And maximum voltage, I mean the uh, battery voltage or battery EMF and maximum charge, I mean this one. Okay, why it's so? Because when, <clears throat> when um, T equal to RC, okay, then in this expression, okay, you see that this is equal to minus one because RC, RC cancel out and that is equal to minus one. And e, equal, e to the power minus one is equal to 0.37 approximately, okay? So it says, you see that uh, one minus 0.37 is 0 0.63, okay? So if you go here, so this is 0.37, one minus 0.37 is 0 0.63. So VC is equal to um, 0 0.63 times uh, this um, better EMF, okay? So that means when T equal to time constant, then the voltage reaches to 63% of its battery voltage. And the same thing for the charge at uh, time constant, at T equal to time constant, Q reaches to 63% uh, of its maximum charge, okay? Now, how about the current? Because uh, here you see that uh, voltage increases and current decreases. So here you see the current decreases, okay, from its maximum current. Uh, so the equation for the current is something like this. Again, you can use this, um, use the uh, Karshop rule and uh, calculus, and you can show that the current is equal to I0 maximum current e to the power minus T over RC. Okay, so you see that this is different than what you see for the voltage and the current, okay? And that's because current decreases. On the other hand, voltage and, um, uh, and the charge increases, okay? And what is I0? From the Ohm's law, you know that I0 is E over R, okay? So this is the equation for the current. And if you plot this graph, you can see that this is decreasing. And that's why here you see that it is decreasing. Okay. And similar to uh, the interpretation of uh, voltage and current at T equal to RC or time constant, the current basically decreases to 30, 37% of its maximum value. Okay. All right. So this is for the charging. Okay, so charging means you see that uh, the capacitor is now charged, 
okay now bit charging means um you uh, i mean you have to disconnect uh, this part so let me disconnect okay now if i use uh, the other switch the middle switch you will see that the capacitor will start discharging and when it start discharging you will see the change here both uh, the voltage and the current will be decreasing okay so when charging you see that the voltage was increasing current was decreasing so because voltage is related to the charge charge was also increasing okay in this case you will see that voltage and current both will be decreasing okay let's see so you see that okay so you see that both are decreasing okay all right so because of that the equations for vc is something like this equation for q is something like this here v0 is basically the maximum voltage um, of the capacitor okay because during the discharging there is no battery right so we cannot write e for the maximum okay here v0 means the maximum capacitor voltage okay and uh, similarly you can write this okay and here you see that in one time constant okay so t equal to rc it decreases to 37 percent yeah so here you see that um, at t equal to rc it increases to 63 percent okay and this is the current okay so similarly you can also show the current there is equal to v0 over r e to the power minus t over rc but in this case it is negative okay and it is negative because um, during discharging current flows in the opposite direction than during charging okay so that's why although the expression for the current for charging and discharging is very similar but for discharging we'll have a negative sign to tell that the current direction is now opposite okay all right so what are the example where we are using um, rc circuit okay so in our car wiper we use rc circuit okay uh, hollow in costumes and in many toys we use this in artificial uh, pacemaker or the defibr defibrillator okay in medical we use this okay the last thing i'm going to tell you about emitters and voltmeters okay so a meter is a device that can uh, measure the current and voltmeter is the device that can measure uh, potential difference okay so when you use the emitter and voltmeter you have to remember the, uh, remember how to connect them okay so emitter or the current probe okay normally connected in um, series so here you see that connected in series okay so remember that when if you want to measure the current okay you have to um, connect the emitter or the current probe in series okay so you see this is a series connection on the other hand if you want to measure the voltage or the potential drop in any component of a circuit you have to um, connect them in parallel okay so here you see that this is connected in parallel okay so i'm not going to de uh, talk detail about that but remember that uh, we will be doing some experiment using the emitter or uh, current probe or the voltmeter or, uh, and the voltmeter or the voltage probe remember that when you when you um, use those in your circuit connect emitter in series and connect voltmeter in parallel okay so that's it and in the next class i'm going to solve some of the classwork problem from this chapter
Okay. All right.